Hello fellow Google Sheet Geek! You may already be using the 2021 digital household booklet to track your expenses and it can be that you run into an issue or two. Firstly, the issue may be that non-fixed categories that you wrote inside this tab, inside the grey box, are not showing up on the overview tab. I will show you uh, what is happening here. First, let's add some random categories so that we have something to, to show up on the other sheet. Let's take childcare, gasoline, diapers, no idea, just examples. Now, all these fields, uh, the grey box is in range B3 to B22. And if we go to overview tab, the top field has an array formula pointing to non-fixed categories. Go to this tab and everything in range B3 to B22. So that's correct. But the final three categories that we added are not showing up on our main tab. How come? If we go to the front of the row, we see that there's some rows not, not missing, but they're hidden. And you can recognize this by tiny rectangles. Uh, sorry, what? Tiny triangles facing, uh, pointing up and down. These are buttons, so if you click either, it will unhide these hidden rows. I clicked, and we now have the lost categories showing up on our overview tab, which is great. Secondly, it can be that if you wrote a lot of categories further down into this gray box, that not all of them are showing up on the monthly tabs. Why is this so? It's because I made a mistake and I did not include the entire range in all these drop downs. So we need to manually adjust that. If you're already using the template for yourself to track your expenses, you need to manually adjust it. If not, if you're starting from scratch, you can just make a brand new copy and everything will be perfectly fine. But here we're going to manually adapt the drop downs. I select all this dummy data, I press backspace to delete it because we don't need it. Then I right click on the top box, the top drop down, right click, I scroll down to data validation. We have a list from a range which is pointing to non fixed categories B3 to B14. We want this range to include everything up to and including B22. So all I did is I changed 14 to 22 and then we click save. We take the blue square. I click and I drag it all the way down and I override the current the current drop downs. And now if I take a random one or the last one, doesn't matter, they're all the same, we see that the new categories are showing up. So that's that's exactly what we wanted. And then we need to repeat this process in all the other monthly tabs. Copy, command C, go to the next tab, go all the way to the top and paste. Then again I take the blue square and drag it all the way down and override the drop downs already there. Just to check, I click the last one, click on the drop down and here we have the categories which before were not showing up but now we have the correct, uh, it's referencing the correct range. And then we do the same, I copy, actually I don't need to but Go to the next tab, go to March, and I paste. I take the blue square and I drag it all the way down and overwrite the current drop downs. And this you repeat for the rest of the monthly tabs. And then all your categories will be properly showing up. That was it. Thank you for watching and let me know what you would need from me.